All right, this video is on synthetic division. All right, so you've all heard of long division, uh, and uh, this is a special kind of division called synthetic. Now make note, in order to use synthetic division, we have to have a polynomial, and it has to be divided by a binomial of the form x minus k, and k is just any real number. All right, so here's an example of how to use synthetic division. All right, first thing we notice that we have a polynomial up here in the numerator, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x plus 4, all divided by a binomial x minus a number. All right, so the question is, what's the k from that x minus k form? Well, everybody see that it'd be 2, because there's the x, there's the minus, and then this would be the k. All right, so take the k value, which in this case is 2, and we're going to put it in this little half box thing. Then out to the right on the same line, we're going to write out just the coefficients of this polynomial. Right? So just the 2, the negative 3, the negative 5, and the 4. Okay, so it's like this. So this 2 is going to go here. Then we're going to leave some space and write the negative 3. Leave some space, write the negative 5. Leave some space, write the 4. Then on your paper, skip a line and draw a line. Then, whatever this first number is here to the right of the box, this over here being the half box, whatever this first number is right here, it goes immediately below the line. So really this is a streamlined version of long division, uh, and it's quite nice. This is how you start every single synthetic division problem. The k value goes inside this little half box thing, the coefficients of your polynomial go out here to the right, uh, and then this first coefficient goes immediately below the line. All right, okay, here we go. Now you take what's inside the box and what's below the line and multiply those two numbers together. So 2 times 2 gives you 4. That goes above the line and the next column over. So 4 goes there. All right, then you add those up. 4 plus negative 3 gives you 1. And then you repeat. Now you take what's inside the box 2 and what's below the line over here, which is 1. So 2 times 1 gives you 2. 2 goes in the next column over, above the line. Then you add those up. Negative 5 and plus 2 gives you 3. Negative 3. And then you say, all right, what's inside the box times what's below the line? That gives you negative 6. Uh, go to the next column over and put it above the line. Add those up, you get negative 2. Now this last number here is your remainder. Okay, so now we're going to figure out how to write the quotient, because you can't just leave it like this. All right, so this is a third degree polynomial. The degrees go 3, 2, 1, 0. They go in descending order. All right, so this down here, this 2, 1, negative 3, this polynomial is one degree less than the polynomial you started with up here. So if this 2 is the coefficient of x cubed of our original polynomial, then down here, this 2 is the coefficient of x squared, one degree less. So this is going to be 2x squared. And then just go, just, then just take your degrees and go in descending order. So plus, this would just be x, and then minus 3. And the, remember how we take care of the um, remainder, plus negative 2 over x minus 2. All right? And that right there is our quotient plus the remainder part divided by the divisor. All right? That's a lot faster than long division. If you were to take this and go do long division, you would get the exact same result. All right? And you should you should check that if you don't see this. All right, let's try another one. Can we use synthetic division on this problem? Well, we have a polynomial and then we have x plus a number. Well, x plus 3 is the same thing as x minus a negative 3. Everybody with me on that? You have x minus a negative 3. Right? So your k value would be a negative 3. Okay, so that's what goes inside the, the half box, negative 3. And then out to the right go the coefficients of your polynomial. All right, so this would be 1. Now notice we're missing x squared. So what do you think its coefficient is? It's right at 0. So we need to put the 0 in because that keeps everything lined up nice and neat for us. All right, then we have negative 4, and then we have positive 1. Skip a line, draw a line. This first leading coefficient goes below the line, and then multiply and add. So here we go. Negative 3 times 1 gives you negative 3. It goes above the line in the next column over. Add them up, get negative 3. Then negative 3 times negative 3 gives you 9. 9 goes above the line in the next column over. Add them up, you get 5. And then negative 3 times 5 gives you negative 15. So that goes above the line in the next column over. And then negative 14 is the remainder. 
So now what's the quotient part? Well, if you started with x cubed, then this thing here is x squared. And then go a descending order. Minus 3x plus 5 uh, plus negative 14 over x plus 3. And you've got it. Now mind you, right now we're only using synthetic division when we're of the form 1x plus or minus a real number. Okay? Alright, let's do one more because I want to tie it into another concept. Alright, so the k value is negative 4. So negative 4 goes inside the half box. The coefficients out to the right are 1, 4, 2, 9, and 4. Skip a line draw a line. First coefficient comes down. Alright, so what's inside the box times what's below the line? So negative 4 above the line. Add those up, you get 0. Negative 4 times 0 gives you 0. It goes there. Add them up, you get 2. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. 9 and negative 8 add up to give you 1. Negative 4 times 1 gives you negative 4. And the remainder is 0. All right. So now this polynomial down here, the quotient, since we started with x to the fourth, this is going to be x cubed. And then we don't have a, an x squared term, so then we have plus 2x, and then we have plus 1. And there's no remainder part to add on there. Everybody see that? So really what we can say now is this fourth degree polynomial has been factored. Because if we take x plus 4 and x cubed plus 2x plus 1 and multiply those together you're going to come up with this original polynomial. Can everybody see that? If you take the divisor and the quotient and the, when there's no remainder on the quotient there and you multiply those two things together then you get the dividend, you get the polynomial that you were dividing into. Right? Think of it as 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Well, 2 times 3 equals 6. That's essentially what we're doing here x plus 4 times x cubed plus 2x plus 1 is equal to x to the 4th plus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 9x plus 4. And this polynomial, that 4th degree polynomial, has been factored into these two factors. Now, I bring that up now because that's going to play a role a little bit later from now. The whole point of this video was to make sure you understand how to do synthetic division. It's not too bad, but once you try a couple of them, everything should go, should go pretty smooth. Alright, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.